Isekai manga as a genre has been oversaturated as of late with power fantasies, with harem building world fantasies, stuff with their stepmom. I wanted something different and I was actually able to find something different. Hunting in another world with my elf wife. After being killed by a bear, professional hunter Shin Nakajima has awakened in another world. Armed only with his shotgun, things get hairy when the wolves attack. It looks like his second chance of life is short-lived until a beautiful elf named Sauron comes to his rescue, a skilled hunter in her own right. She and Shin instantly connect. Perhaps she can help him find the way in a strange new world. So back in our world, Shin Nakajima was brutally murdered by a bear after he was trying to protect some innocent girl during this very weird time that was happening. I believe it was a storm or something like that. And there was this innocent girl, little girl, that was at the gate. Well, he sacrificed himself to save this girl. And as he was, like, I guess the moment he died, I guess the best way to describe it, he found himself in this new world with just basically his shotgun and his wits. So he still has all of his memories, he still has his shotgun, he still has his cell phone on him. Amongst all these things, he found a walkie-talkie. He never had this before going to this other world, so he talked into it and he heard this voice. And this voice was the goddess that brought him to this world for a second chance. Her name is Nanates. Uh, she's very cutesy, she's very airheaded a little bit, but very smart at the same time. Her, her design is very good, but I'll go into design later on as we always do with manga reviews. And Nanates said because he did such a selfless sacrifice, she brought him to this world as a thank you and a way to basically give him a second lease on life. So she granted him the second chance and said, hey, you have your shotgun. I'm going to give you your cheat item because you're a hero. You know what I'm saying? So here's his bag. And so Shin ends up finding out that this magical bag, if he puts money in, he can get stuff out of it, stuff he likes. So fast forward to almost dying. He found a wolf pack and tried to use his gun and he almost he had, he got bit and almost died. Well, he was ended up being saved by this elf, this tall, beautiful elf named Saran. After this near death experience, he ends up waking up in his bed and finds this elf that he doesn't know the name of at this time, basically holding him naked, and they're both naked in the bed. Well, apparently, the only way to heal from the infection, from the deep wound that the elves, the wolves, sorry, the wolves gave him, she had to basically hold him and like do this healing magic of some sort. That's when he founds out that she's also a hunter just like him and they basically instantly connect and they kind of understand each other. So after a couple weeks of healing, recovering, him being able to live in this village because he ended up actually killing that wolf pack and that's been causing them problems for the elf village. Well, he ended up finding out about, you know, trying to figure out money, how to, you know, because the bag, you have to put money in to get stuff out. So he ended up talking to Saran, and basically, they don't have money, they do a bartering system. So he ended up with what money he has, got salt out. And while well, salt's a rare commodity in this world. So after going through this whole thing of giving the village salt and these big bags, and going through this whole thing, he ended up talking to the chief. And the chief of the village said, are you some hero or something? He's like, no, I'm from, I'm from another world. And after talking, the chief said, I want you to marry Saran. Well, that ends up happening. There's a marriage and stuff. They ended up going off because he ends up wanting to go to a human village to try and make it better for the elf village that took him in without questioning anything and accepted him as one of their own. So he wants to help make things better for him. So they go off to a human village to where they discover about elf slavery and they, that brings up a whole dark side of this thing. It was been light and beautiful and yeah, there was the wild trying to kill you but they didn't mention anything of that now there's this underlying tone of elves are being taken as slaves and we need to figure out how to stop it because it's people that saran has known and goes through this whole different underlying arc that leads into the second third fourth volume which i'm currently on i do want to say with this book the art style itself is very i guess i i think i've said this a couple times but smooth but it's beautiful it brings out a different kind of characteristic to these characters, especially with Saran. And I, I have the picture here, but like post-wedding, like look at that. It's beautiful. I'm trying to work my arm around this thing. But look at that. It's just beautiful. It doesn't really focus on much, but bring out the natural beauty of the characters. 
and then you have the same for Shin. It brings out his little bit... He's a younger guy, and he's not that tall, but it brings out his masculinity and his intelligence, especially when he starts messing with his gun. You can see the thinking process. You can see the, the emotions actually being portrayed. If you were to take away the words out of each arc, and or out of each panel, you can see the well beauty that is this manga. I mean, look at this. Look how beautiful that nighttime sky is against her face. The artist does such a good job portraying the emotions, the age of the characters, the quality of life. You can you, you can just tell a lot based off the art style in this book, and I really do appreciate it. They don't over-sexualize anyone, which is another big thing that I've been really looking for. I mean, yeah, there is a scene where they have sex because, you know, they consummated the marriage. But it doesn't show it. It just shows them under a blanket, and it shows them posts where they're holding each other by a bonfire. Doesn't over-sexualize them, doesn't do anything like that. Yeah, the, the wedding dress was a little scandalous, but that's the extent of it. Most of it's action, slice of life-ish, because they're traveling, they're trying to figure out the world, because Shin's never been in this world, Saran's never been past her village, so it it doesn't over-sexualize, which is why I really like this. And in the Izakai genre, it's been kind of getting a little out of hand in my personal opinion. I know it's the self volumes, but I really believe that this is one that people should read. I like Shin as a character because he's still just a young guy. He's about, I believe, 18, 19, somewhere around there. He's just a, just relaxing, going through his day. He knows his guns. He knows how to handle them. He knows what he needs. He knows survival tactics. Along with his now wife, who's also a hunter who helps. They help coincide with each other. And it's a kind of like a yin-yang thing. They make each other coexist and they work in perfect harmony. And they end up going and joining a hunter's guild. Further points that hunters are needed in this world. And it's a whole nother arc and it's a whole nother beautiful thing. I really recommend you pick this up because I also do believe this is going to be an um, anime sometime soon. And I've been knocking it out of the park with 100 girlfriends with a bunch of other stuff that's been going on. So I highly recommend give this a chance. Let me know what you guys think. This is just a quick little overview. But I really do think that this is going to end up being something. Um, look, just, just keep an eye on those people right there. You know what I'm saying? Just keep an eye on them. Anyway, love you all. I appreciate you all. And I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>